So, unlike the other videos, this list is going to be a mixed bag of various terminology that I think will help you describe the art that you're looking for. This is not organized in any particular way, but generally it's useful to know the names of certain genres and media. A lot of people confuse genres with styles, but genres are actually more like themes. So a genre is something like science fiction. The medium is what you use to make it. So something like oil painting or clay sculpting. And styles are like renaissance or surrealism. So for example, you could make an art piece that is a surrealist abstract cyberpunk clay sculpture, in which case the medium is clay, the genre is cyberpunk, and the style is surrealist abstract. So that's how those three concepts interact. Some pretty cool mediums that I didn't mention before, but are pretty good to know are pencil sketch, watercolor painting, and collage. Some popular good genres to know are historical, which is anything set in the distant past, retro, which is generally things in our near past, and there's also retro futuristic, which is what we thought the future was going to look like at the time of retro. Science fiction is also known as sci-fi. This includes things like Star Trek, Halo, and then there's also science fantasy, which is more like Star Wars. Every day or slice of life is the general term we use for whatever is normal at the moment. Utopian is a perfect society. Dystopian would be the opposite. Action, my personal favorite. This is the fun stuff where battles and excitement happen. Adventure, this is where all the epic journeys take place. Think of Indiana Jones, Lord of the Rings, and Uncharted. Romance, anytime you want to depict the emotions of love, this is your word. Comedy is the funny stuff. Horror is the scary stuff. Think of Alien, The Grudge, and The Ring. Gore is the nasty stuff. Best examples of this are Silent Hill, Doom, Dead Space, Scorn, and Agony. Cyberpunk. This is like street sci-fi. Think of Blade Runner and 2077. Steampunk. Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli love this style. It's kind of like an alternate reality where technology is advanced, but everything is mechanical instead of digital. Also, a lot of you guys really loved the art style of Navao, so I thought I'd show you guys what the polar opposite was. The opposite of art Navao is brutalism. Unlike Navao, brutalist architecture and design is created to instill fear power and unrelenting simple dominance. The best depiction of the two contrasting styles is in Lord of the Rings, where you can clearly compare the art of the elves with the art of the orcs. So they're both really cool, so keep that in mind. Anime. I generally use this word anytime I want something to look specifically like a Japanese cartoon. Retro anime is like Astro Boy and Sailor Moon. Then there's 1980s, and everything after 2010 is basically considered fairly modern. Comic is a word I usually use when I need to describe something that looks like an American cartoon. Like an anime, you can divide this into retro, 1980s-ish, and fairly modern from 2010. Pixelated and 8-bit is when you want something to look like it's from the Super Nintendo or a Game Boy game. Vector is a great word when you want to describe simple flat color shapes. It's an excellent style for making logos especially. Commercial and promotional are excellent words when you want something to look like they're on the cover of an advertisement. Box shot is a great word when you want it to look like the cover of a video game. Similar to this is poster. Photorealistic describes things that aren't real but look real. A photograph on the other hand is a capture of a real image and ultra detailed are very powerful words when you want something to look very sharp and very refined intricate is like ultra detailed but it's generally a bit more stylized and beautiful render is the word you want to use when you want something to look like it was made in 3d biblical is what you use anytime you want something to look beautifully christian high contrast this makes the darks darker and the lights lighter the extreme of this is black and white cinematic lighting makes things look epic and when you want something to look like there's light in a foggy area use the word words volumetric lighting. If you really love plants, foliage is your word. If you want something to look dark, use the word dim. If you want something to look like it was taken from a photo shoot, try out the word studio. And lastly, you should have a general idea of the different camera lens sizes. Here's a good example of what the different lenses are like. Really all you have to know is for portraits, most photographers prefer 85 to 110 millimeters. And for landscape shots, you generally want something about 14 to 35 millimeters. Some people even go down to 10. Essentially, just remember the shorter the lens, the more you'll see. The the longer the lens, the less you'll see. And that's that. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you around.